Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here again for another action figure unboxing and review. And today we are looking at this. It's not necessarily an action figure, but it's close enough. We are looking at Hot Wheels, Starships, The Star Wars, Mandalorian, The Child, Hover Pram. And you guessed it, it's Baby Yoda, aka Grogu himself. In his little hover chariot carriage thingy, as we see here in the upper left corner. So I found this at Target maybe like last week, and and when I saw it, I'm like, that's pretty neat. I think this was only maybe like four ninety nine or three ninety nine. I'm like, I gotta get that. It looks cool. Um, it's really small. It you know, it's not gonna be to scale with my Black Series figures, but. It looks like the right size to complement my three and three quarter Mandalorian action figure. And even if I didn't have that action figure, I'd probably buy this anyways because I'm a sucker for Baby Yoda and I don't know, I think this looks really, really cool. So yeah, this is a Hot Wheels toy. And it belongs to their Star Wars their Star Wars Starships line. And this is very different because <laughs> Baby Yoda in his little hover pram is not a starship. But I think it's just a fun way for Mattel and, and their Hot Wheels um, brand to like capitalize off the popularity of the Mandalorian. Um, because they do offer this also. Um, I'm not unboxing this. This is actually more of a display piece that I have. This, I believe, was the first release of the Star Wars Mandalorian Razor Crest. Um, I want to say I think they've released this twice. And the second version of this... Um, I think it's still the same mold and same paint job and everything, but they just repackaged it. And I want to say I think the new one's packaged on this white card. But here was the original release. And this is actually a, a starship. And it includes the flight stand. And if you look on the back, here's some of the other um, examples of what f falls into the line. Like you have your X-Wings, you have your Y-Wings, your Millennium Falcon, your B-Wing, your TIE Fighter, your AT, ST Raider. And it's a fun, it's a fun toy line, especially if you're uh, growing up during the '90s and you collected like the Star Wars micro machine vehicles. I think this is like a wonderful throwback to that. But these are even better because they're actually made of like diecast metal as opposed to like that soft, weird plastic that the uh, micro machines were made of. So yeah, let's get to Baby Yoda or Grogu or the Child or whatever you want to call him, Mister Money. So here he is, the child. Uh, love the package, love the card. I love this illustration. I think that's great. And on the back, simple instructions. His stand com is comprised of two pieces. There's the base and the post. And you plug them in, and then you throw the hover pram on top, and there you go. And what falls in this line, there's the Razor Crest, the Falcon, the TIE Fighter, and the ATST Raider. So, uh, let's take a look at this guy outside of the package. Now, truth be told, I actually have this guy loose. Um, this is <laughs> actually my second time at filming this video. I filmed it earlier, but I couldn't use it. And I'm like, I'll just reshoot it. But luckily, I still had... I bought two of these. One, I don't know. I'm, I'm one of those collectors that every now and then, if I like something enough, especially if I'm package, I'll buy two of them. One to keep on the card and one to open. Um, mostly because I, I, I'm a big fan of like this really cool package design and I thought this looks really cool. Alright, so... <laughs> this is me being a weird nerd. Alright, I have like... I collect Star Wars Mission Fleet, at least some of them. And they're small enough that I keep in one of those like carry-out food trays or whatever. And uh, so here's the Baby Yoda and the Hover Pram. And then here's the base. Alright. So let's examine it up close. I'm not sure how good my camera is going to capture the detail. Um, this document came out. I don't think it was necessarily intended for like, you know, like macro vision or whatever it is. So it's nice and weighty. Um, you know, the, the actual pram is made of a combination of hard plastic for the dome and then the actual lower half is actually die cast metal uh the child himself grogu he's kind of made of like a softer rubbery plastic which is good 
so his you know his ears won't actually accidentally snap off. They're very pliable and they kind of bend like that. And the details in his face are kind of soft sculpted, so you don't really get the impression of his facial features all that well. But his the fur lining on his on his robe has some micro texture to it, which is nice. Now, I don't remember if the hover pram was this this bright of a white on the television show. For some reason, I thought it was more like gray or silver. I gotta rewatch it. It's been a while. So it's nice. Um, if I, I think this is about maybe an inch and a half long. Maybe an inch tall. So I already partially assembled it. The post was put in here. And then you get this clear base, and then you have the symbol of the um, mud horn etched into it. So there's the horn, and there's the skull of the mud horn. And this clicks in, but it's not, it's not a tight fit. It has a tendency to want to pop out if you move it a little. And then once it's in place, there you go floats, hovers. It's cool. So the reason why I got this is because um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I have a, a Mandalorian 3D printed Razor Crest uh, toy slash model I found on eBay. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, um, I highly suggest you check it out. And it's not perfectly to scale with these three and three quarter figures, but it's, it's kind of, it's close enough. Um, and, you know, I have this Mandalorian figure and I, I'm kind of like I kind of need a Baby Yoda to go with it and I haven't picked up the um the vintage collection collection one yet I saw it at the mall the other day, but I just passed up on it and I saw this at Target a week before that and I'm like You know this looks cool size wise. It looks close enough um, I'm not sure if it's completely accurate, but I'm guessing when Hot Wheels made this I think they, par they, they probably wanted like Grab a little bit of the action figure market and kind of scaled it as close as possible so it'd match this guy. That's what I'm kind of hypothesizing, but I could be off altogether. But if you have any of the three and three quarter Mandalorian figures and you don't have the vintage collection small Yoda figure yet, I think this is a great fill in, especially for the price. You know, I think I paid $4.99 for this, which I don't know, I think is awesome. So if you look at them, you know, they scale well together. The base is a little bit big, but that's all right. It's you know I think this guy would be more prone to fall over because of his weight, but and I think this base is consistent in size with the other bases from their Starships line. But it's a good piece to complement this action figure. And since we're on the subject of Baby Yoda, here's a couple of other Baby Yodas. These are the Baby Yodas from Mission Fleet. These are slightly bigger. Um, their designs are a little bit more cartoony. And I like the Mission Fleet stuff a lot. You know, here's like... I have a couple of Mandalorians. One of these came with a speeder bike. One of these came in, I think, the 5-pack. And then I kind of just customized one of them. I cut out a hole in the cape so I could plug the jetpack in. And these aren't to scale at all. He's This is a little too big. But that's alright, if they made any smaller, like a little kid could probably choke and accidentally swallow this or something. So you can see there's a size difference here. You know, if you want to be crazy and just say this is like Baby Yoda's big brother, go ahead. <laughs> and I have one more um, uh, Grogu figure that we can look at. And it's this. Um, I'm not taking this out, I'm just going to leave it inside the package. This is the Black Series... A uh, child and it's almost the same size as the mission fleet stuff uh, The mission fleet has a bigger head because these are a little bit more cartoony proportions This one's a little bit taller, but it, its proportions are more realistic to what you see on the television show And it's much bigger than this guy here All right, so uh, do I recommend this? Um, yeah, if you're a fan of the show and you saw this on the shelves, you know, it's only like $4.99. You know, you're not paying an arm and a leg for it. It's a cool display piece. You know, if, if you're at the office, just plop it on your desk. And, you know, whenever a cute girl comes by, she's like, oh, I love Baby Yoda. 
And then you can show her your baby Yoda. And then ask her if she wants to touch your baby Yoda. So yeah, if I had to rate this guy numerically, probably a 7. Um, it's not spectacular, but, you know, it's not... It does what it does. It's baby Yoda and this little floaty carriage thing. Um, and it's cool. It's neat. The fact that it's die cast, it's weighty. It feels like you're actually paying for something. So, yep, go out there and buy it. And it's a great companion piece to any of the three and three quarter figures you have. So, once again, my name is Lou. Thank you very much for stopping by and checking out my video. I greatly appreciate it. Feel free to stop by anytime. Take care.